Welcome to our video tutorial on how to apply the theorems on trapezoids. Recall natin yung definition ng trapezoid. Trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Example ng trapezoid ay itong figure na to na ang pangalan ay TRAP. So mapapansin natin na mayroon siyang dalawang arrowheads which tell us na yung TR and PA are what we call parallel sides. And sa mundo ng trapezoid, yung mga parallel sides at non-parallel sides ay may mga specific na pangalan. And these two sides, yung mga parallel sides, are what we call bases. In this figure, we have the base TR and base PA. And on the other hand, yung TP and RA are what we call non-parallel sides or legs. So in this figure, we have leg TP and RA. It should be clear to you na mag-iba man ang orientation niyan. Let's say, ikutin ko ng konti, dapat hindi ka malilito or alam mo pa rin kung sino ang mga bases at sino-sino yung mga legs. Okay? Next, another term bukod sa bases and legs ay meron din tayong tinatawag na mga base angles. So, we have two pairs. In this figure, we have angle P and angle A. From the name itself, pag nirecall niya, pag sinabing base angles, dapat they share common side. Let's say we have angle P. Ang angle P ay itong angle na to. And yung angle A ay itong angle na to. So, napansin niyo, meron silang parehong base PA. So, bago sila maging pares, dapat pareho yung kanilang base. On the other pair, yung angle T at angle R, ganun pa rin, dapat meron silang common base. Bukod sa mga bases, legs, and base angles, another term na dapat familiar tayo ay yung tinatawag na the median of a trapezoid. Sa ibang book, tinatawag yung mid-segment of a trapezoid. But in this presentation, allow me to use median. So the median of a trapezoid is the segment that joins the midpoints of the non-parallel sides. In this figure, same figure tayo, yung TP and RA are what we call non-parallel sides. Pag kinuha natin yung midpoints nila, it's been center, gitna ng side TP at RA, tapos pinangalangan na natin yan na midpoint Z at midpoint D. Siyempre, yung TZ ay magiging congruent kay ZP. Ganon din sa kapila, yung RD magiging congruent kay DA. Okay? Tapos, pag kinunek mo yung midpoint ZD, magkakaroon ka ng bagong segment. At yun na ang tinatawag na median. Okay? That should be clear. I-connect mo yung, yung mga midpoints ng mga non-parallel sides. Yun na ang median. Under median, meron tayong theorem. At ang theorem na yun ay, the median of a trapezoid is parallel to each base and its length is one half the sum of the lengths of the bases. So yung ZD daw, Parallel din siya kay TR at kay PA. Moreover, merong formula ang pwedeng gamitin para ma-compute or mahanap yung measure ni ZD. And that is, the median is equal to base sub 1, unang base, plus base sub 2, all over 2. Or simply, average ng mga bases. Sa figure na to, para mabuo yung equation dyan, Unahin mo yung median. Ang median ay ZD. Tapos, equal siya kay TR plus PA all over 2. So, basically, parang average lang talaga siya. Let's try to apply this theorem. Example 1, find the length of XY in the trapezoid below. XY here is the median of this trapezoid. So, yung VU ay 22 inches. Ang WT ay 40 inches. Itong dalawang to ay mga bases. So, para mahanap yung XY, gagamitin natin yung theorem ng median. So, first, recall natin ano ba yung theorem. Ayan, the median is equal to base sub 1 plus base sub 2 all over 2 or average lang ng mga bases. So, mentally, you can do that. 22 plus 40, that is 62. Tapos, divide mo ng 2. That is 31 inches. So, tapos na. What if you are required to present your solution? Sundan mo lang yung formula. So, median natin ay yung segment XY. So, you write segment XY equals yung base sub 1 natin ay kahit sino mauna pe pwede. So, in our case, unahin natin yung VU, yung sa taas. VU plus WT all over 2. Regardless kung sino mauna, pareho lang naman ang lalabas. 
And then, pag nabuo mo na yung equation mo, pwede ka na mag-substitute. Ang x, y ay nginahanap, kaya kukopya lang natin ulit yan. Yung VU ay 22, ang WT ay 40. Okay, tapos all over 2. Simplify natin, 22 plus 40 is of course 62 over 2, that means divided by 2, which gives us 31. And that's it. Conclusion muna nun, the length of x, y is 31 inches. Second example, in the same figure, if x, y is 15 and w, t is 10, what is the length of base v, u? So yung 15 ay yung mismong median at yung 10 ay yung isang base, pinapahanap yung another base. Pero syempre, gagamitin pa rin natin sa solution ay yung theorem na ang sabi ay yung median ay equal sa average ng mga bases. So mentally, ang isipin mo dito, ano yung dadagdag mo kay 10 para yung maging average nilang dalawa ay maging 15? Answer? Okay, 20. Pero may mas madaling paraan at ito yon ginagamit to kapag ang nawawala ay yung isang base. So, formula mo, yung missing base ay equal sa doblehin mo yung median tapos bawas, ibawas mo yung given base. Example, dito ang xy ay 15, di ba? So, doblehin mo yan, that's 30, minus 10, 20. Mas mabilis yan. So, alternatively, sa solution mo, mas simple to Pwede mong gawin yan. Ang VU, yung missing base, ay equal sa twice ng median minus yung given base. So, VU equals to XY minus WT. Substitution, VU, yung nawawala, base, ay equal sa dalubrihin mo yung 15 minus 10. And VU equals 30 minus 10, and that is always equal to 20. Same answer. So, yun ang conclusion natin. Pinapauna ko na, yung theorem na yun ay gumagana sa kahit na anong klaseng trapezoid. Okay, basta trapezoid yung figure, pwede mong gamitin yung theorem na yun. Next, we have this what we call isosceles trapezoid. Kailan nagiging isosceles ang isang trapezoid? Ito siya. If the legs of a trapezoid are congruent, then the trapezoid is isosceles. Ganun lang siya kasimple. So, ito yung kanina yung ordinary trapezoid natin alam. No, yung mga non-parallel sides ay not congruent. No, hindi, kang, hindi pareho yung kanilang length. Ngayon, kapag yung side TP at side RA naging congruent, yan ay magiging isosceles trapezoid. So, that should be clear. Hindi lahat ng trapezoid ay isosceles. Magiging isosceles lang siya sila kapag yung mga non-parallel sides sila ay congruent. Okay? So, madali na to. Kung ang TP ay 5, yung RA ay 5 din. Unlike kanina sa mga ordinary trapezoid, hindi pa pwede yan. So, ang ganda, ang daming pwedeng gawin sa isosceles trapezoid. Pag-usapan naman natin yung mga theorems on isosceles trapezoid. Pinapauna ko na yung mga minemorized natin before na mga theorems sa mga properties ng parallelograms ay hindi pa pwedeng i-apply sa mga isosceles trapezoid. Dahil itong mga to ay may sariling properties or theorems. Theorem 1, the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So, dun ba lang makikita mo na, di ba? Sa parallelogram, yung mga base angles ay supplementary. So, dito, base angles are congruent. Kaya, huwag ka magpapalit o. Pag parallelogram siya, properties of parallelogram lang ang gagamitin mo. Kapag isosceles trapezoid, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, here, again, isosceles trapezoid, yung mga base angles are congruent. Let's have the isosceles trapezoid C, A, R, E here. Alam naman natin na yung mga base angles niyan ay itong angle C and angle A. Tapos meron tayong another pair, angle E and angle R. So in notation, angle E ay congruent kay angle R and angle C ay congruent din kay angle A. Kung ang angle E ay 50 degrees, 50 degrees din yung angle R. Diba? Ibang-iba siya kay parallelogram. Kung ang angle C ay 130 degrees, 130 degrees din ang angle A. Theorem 2, opposite angles in an isosceles trapezoid are supplementary. So, ibang-iba siya sa mga properties ng parallelogram. Sa parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. So, baliktad siya dito. So, here, angle E and angle A, these are opposite angles. Their sum is 180 degrees. Kasi nga, supplementary sila. And another pair na opposite angles ay yung angle R sa kayong angle C.
Pansinin din natin na yung angle A dito sa yung angle C, pwede magpalit ng lugar. And pati itong dalawang to pwede magpalitan yan. Ibig sabihin, yung angle E sa yung angle C ay mga supplementary angles din. And these two also, angle A and angle R. Okay? Pero hindi ko siya susulat dahil hindi yun ang sinasabi ng theorem. Kung baga, yung dalawang yun ay mga implication lang. Ayan. Apply natin yung first two theorems ng mga isosceles trapezoids. SMPL is an isosceles trapezoid. If the measure of angle L is 30 degrees, what is the measure of angle P? Analyze natin yung figure. Ang SM ay isang base at ang LP ay isa ring base. So it follows na yung angle L sa yung angle P ay isang pares ng base angles. Therefore, congruent yung measure nila. Kung ano measure ni angle L, yun din ang measure ni angle P. Kaya mentally, kayang-kayang masagutan to. Answer here is also 30 degrees. So solution naman, kopihin mo muna yung nahanap. Measure of angle P. Ano yung relationship niya kay angle L? Yes, yan ay equal sa measure ni angle L. Tapos substitution, kopihin mo muna yung measure ni angle P. Tapos substitute mo yung angle L, yun ay 30 degrees. Kaya... You're done. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Therefore, the measure of angle P is 30 degrees. Example 2, same figure. SMPL is an isosceles trapezoid. If the measure of angle S is 4x minus 20 and the measure of angle M is 120 degrees, what is the value of x and the measure of angle S? Kung measure of angle S lang ang tinatanong, madaling madali lang to dahil pareho silang base angles, di ba? Pare sila. Kaya 120 degrees din yung angle S. Paano naman yung measure ni variable x. So, gawin natin, gawin natin ang equation, ang measure ni angle s ay equal sa measure ni angle m. Kasi nga, uh, pare sila ng base angles. Next, substitution, measure ni angle s ay 4x minus 20. Kaya, 4x minus 20 to equals 120. And then, we need to add both, we need to add 20 on both sides of the equation. Or, simply, transpose natin yung negative 20 sa kabilang side. Magiging positive 20 yun. So, this becomes 4x equals 120 plus 20. Simplify natin. Tapos, divide both sides by 4 and cancel. x must be 35. So, that's it. May value na tayo ni x. Next question ay measure ni angle s. Yung iba ang gagawin dito, kukopihin nila yung equation na to. Tapos, substitute nila yung x doon sa equation. Mas madaling paraan, equate mo na lang si angle S kay measure ni angle M. Kasi nga, they are base angles na pares. Kaya equal lang dalawang yan. So, ang gagawin mo na lang dito, copyhin mo yung measure ni angle S, tapos yung angle M is substitute mo, which is 120 degrees. And ganun lang kadali. So, final answer, the value of X is 35, while the measure of angle S is 120 degrees. Example 3, given... ABCD is an isosceles trapezoid. If the measure of angle A is 110 degrees, what is the measure of angle C? Ang angle A ay nandito at ang angle C ay nandito. With respect to their position, they are opposite angles. That means they are supplementary. Dahil yung nasabi ng theorem number 2. Ngayon, mentally, 110 degrees ito, itong angle A, ano yung dadagdag mo sa kanya para maging 180 degrees? Answer? 70 degrees. Therefore, ang angle C ay magiging 70 degrees dapat. Okay? So, solution mo, kuopihin mo lang yon yung sinasabi ng supplementary, supplementary angle sila. Kaya, pag si angle A, dinagdagan mo ng angle C na opposite niya, dapat yung sum nila 180 degrees. Substitution, si angle A ay magiging 110 degrees. Kopihin mo lang yun kasi nga yun ang inahanap. Equals 180 degrees. Tapos yung uh, mag-subtract ka ng 110 on both sides of the equation or simply i-transpose mo yung 110 sa kabilang side. Magiging 180 minus 110 degrees na yung right side. And then simplify and that's it. Pareho lang yung answer na lalabas. Example 4, solve for x in the given figure. So, ito ay isang isosceles trapezoid din dahil sa mga markings. Okay? Yung mga given ay yung angle S saka angle Q. With respect to their position, they are opposite angles. Kaya dapat sila ay supplementary. Solution, kopihin mo muna si angle S. Tapos idagdag mo kay angle Q. Dapat yung sum nila 180 
degrees. Kasi nga, supplementary angle sila. Substitution, si angle S ay magiging 51. Tapos yung angle Q magiging 28X minus 11. Together, ang sum nila 180. So, ito ay isang linear equation. Simplify natin yung 51 minus 11. That is 28X plus 40. Sa right side naman, copy 180. Tapos, itranspose natin yung 40. Sa kabilang side, magiging 28X equals 180 minus 40. Simplify And then divide both sides by 28. Cancel. X must be 5. Conclusion, the value of X is 5. To check, substitute natin dun sa expression. 28 times 5 is 140. Minus 11 is 129. 129 plus 51 is 180 degrees. So that's correct. Theorem 3. The diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So, kung mapapansin natin, kapareho niya yung isa sa mga properties ng rectangle and square na yung mga diagonals nila, congruent. Same figure, si ARE. So, yung diagonal, diagonal CR ay kapareho ng diagonal AE in terms of length. Okay. CR is congruent to AE. Tuloy natin yung mga examples under isosceles trapezoid. Example 5, CDEF is an isosceles trapezoid with diagonals CE and DF. If CE is 12 meters, what is the length of DF? CE and DF are both diagonals of this isosceles trapezoid. Recall natin yung theorem number 3 na diagonals are congruent. So, kung 12 sa CE, 12 din si DF. Done. Sa solution, syempre, mauna yung unknown, DF, is congruent to CE. Ano ang basis mo dyan? Diagonals are congruent. Substitution, ang DF ang hinahanap, kaya kopihin lang natin yan. Tapos yung CE magiging 12. And that's it. DF equals 12. Conclusion ka na, the length of DF is 12 meters. Ganun lang siya kadali. Sixth example, CDEF is an isosceles trapezoid with diagonal CE and DF. Same figure as the previous items. If CE is 20 and DF is 5x minus 10, what is the value of x? CE ay 20, DF is 5x minus 10. So, nahin natin yung DF is congruent to CE. Sir, pwede po bang mauna yung CE? Yes, pareho lang naman ang lalabas doon. Substitution, 5x minus 10 equals 20. Tapos, yung negative 10 ay kailangan matanggal dito. We need to add 10 on both sides of the equation. Or simply, itranspose natin yung negative 10 sa kabilang side. Magiging positive 10 yan. So, 5x equals 20 plus 10. Simplify natin. That is 5x equals 30. Divide both sides by 6 or by 5. That gives us x is... And that's it. Conclusion, the value of x is 6. To check if your answer is correct, substitute mo yung x dito sa expression na to. 5 times 6 is 30 minus 10, 20. Equal yun kay CE na 20 din. And that ends our presentation. Goodbye and thank you.